Hello everyone, let's look at the next topic. So the next topic uh, is project management triangle. Uh, so there is one question in your official QA on this topic. So we'll be discussing about the project management triangle and also we will look at that uh, beautiful question on this topic. Okay, now what exactly is project management triangle? Now we'll not make it very difficult and we'll keep it very simple, you know. So uh project management triangle so uh, i i hope that you know everyone is able to see uh, everyone are able to see this diagram this this triangle so in this triangle there is something known as dollar dollar means money money means cost okay and then you know there is a symbol of clock time right so there is time and there is this uh, uh emoji of you know uh quality uh you know so here this means quality so what project management triangle says is that you know so there are three dimensions time cost and quality okay so what what uh, it says is that you know in order to achieve two things you will have to compromise the third dimension okay i'll give you one example so basically what we have written over here is fast cheap or good there is a saying that you can either get something fast you can get something cheap or you can get something of good quality and out of three getting two you know you can only expect two but you will have to compromise on, on the third one what does it mean okay when you are saying you want something very fast when you want when you when you say that you want something very fast and very cheap at a very lower cost okay probably most probably that particular thing will be of lower quality so you will have to compromise on the quality you want something very fast you want something very cheap okay so you'll have to compromise on the quality i can give you, I, I can give you one example over here it is fast food you know all those junk food you know which we which we normally have you know you get it very fast right see when when, when, we, when we talk about the project here we are talking about the it projects the system development you know projects whatever we have discussed in domain number three because this question is from domain number three i'm just giving you i'm just giving examples of you know all these things so that you are able to understand uh you know this concept very easily and it's a very easy concept no doubt but you know i'm just giving you some examples so that this particular thing gets in your mind okay what i'm trying to say over here is that you can get something very fast something very cheap but for that you will have to compromise on the third dimension which is the quality right you can say that you can get something fast something of good quality oh, oh, oh. you are getting something very fast and something of good quality but you will have to pay more for it example you know i i'm just giving you day to day examples you know when we when we when we want to go from one place to another you know we have options of either going by train or by flight when we choose the option flight it is fast uh, you know obviously a uh, good quality but you'll have to pay more so the third dimension will be you know uh, impacted so you'll have to compromise on one thing you'll have to pay more for it right if you want uh, uh something very of very good quality and something very cheap you want something of good quality but at the same point of time you are saying you know i cannot pay you more amount like so you you want something at a cheaper cost then in that case you you will have to compromise on the time you, you will get it slow you cannot expect fast over there right so this is the concept you know you can only achieve two things you will have to compromise on the third one so what it says is that the project management triangle the area of this triangle will always remain constant you know so basically you know I'll, I'll keep it very simple what what it what is what it's trying to say is that you know you can achieve two things but at the cost of the th of the third one right so this is what the project management triangle is all about so let's look at the question on this topic now 
now it's a very beautiful question and you know i always i always say that you know you have to develop reading skills you know understanding the concepts is important but equally and and i would say rather more than just understanding the concepts is you know reading skills how to read a question how to identify the hidden hints in the question how to uh, think from the it auditor's angle how to how to think from the isaka's mindset what you know they expect you to be having okay so you know sometimes because of one word the the meaning of the question changes or at times the question is very simple but because of one word the meaning of the option changes because of one word some option can be become right because of one word some option can be can can be wrong okay so this is one of the example uh in this particular question so first we'll discuss the question and um, later on we will discuss the answer okay now the question is like this mr elon an is auditor is reviewing a project with focus on quality so as to satisfy stakeholders mr elon should use project management triangle to explain this is not how you are going to read a question okay so if you follow my lectures you know how we read the question mr elon an is auditor is reviewing a project means it's a domain three question project okay mostly it's a domain three question okay with focus on quality with focus on quality with focus on quality focus on quality so important word is where to focus on quality okay as to satisfy the stakeholder so the, the the project's focus is on quality okay mr elon mr elon is he's an auditor right should use project management triangle to explain option number a decrease in time okay option number okay uh, first we'll read the entire option then i'll talk about it later on okay so option number a is decrease in time can be achieved if quality is decreased option number b increase in quality can be achieved if resource allocation is decreased option number c decrease in time can be achieved if a resource allocation is decreased option number d increase in quality are only achieved if resource allocation is increased okay all four options have one word in common achieve 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 one word is in common achieve okay now what do you want to achieve do you want something fast do you want something cheap or do you want something of good quality okay what is your primary focus okay based on that we can determine where you can compromise if i want something very fast i can either compromise on the cost or on the time sorry if i want something very fast i can you know i'll have to compromise either on the quality or on the cost right so option number a is saying decrease in time do you want something fast no why because question is talking about focus is where focus is on quality so this is h1 hint number one this is the hint number one in your question your focus is on quality your focus is on quality okay so decrease in time will not come increase in quality yeah we want to increase the quality our focus is on quality option number c decrease in time option number d increase in quality so option number a and c easily gets ruled out okay because our primary focus is, on, is where is on quality so the answer should be between option number b and option number d okay this is something we are we are sure about because our focus is on quality right so answer should be between option number b and option number d now ruling out option number a and c is very easy you know in fact i always see again again and again i see that you know in the exam also normally two options will be very easy for you to you know uh, rule out you know for, from the four options but then most of the times we'll get confused between the two right answers and this is where your reading skills will work no problem let's read out that 
ऑप्शन नंबर बी इंक्रीज इन क्वालिटी इंक्रीज इन क्वालिटी कैन बी अचीव्ड इफ रिसोर्स एलोकेशन नाउ हियर रिसोर्स एलोकेशन देर आर थ्री थिंग्स रिसोर्स एलोकेशन मीन्स दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉस्ट एंड एन देर इज टाइम सो क्यू आर ए एंड टी ओके सो रिसोर्स एलोकेशन मीन्स दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉस्ट राइट एंड द थर्ड इज अ इज अ टाइम ओके इंक्रीज इन क्वालिटी कैन बी अचीव इफ रिसोर्स एलोकेशन इज डिक्रीज यू वॉन्ट गुड क्वालिटी you want good quality you want resource allocation to be decreased you want low cost you want something cheap you want good you want cheap then you will get it slow we have discussed over here you want good you want cheap then you will get it slow so you will have to compromise on time you will have to compromise on the on the time factor right so so uh, when i say compromise means that the time will increase you will get it slow okay is option number b possible yes yes the other way the other way is that you want increase in quality now for time being we are not talking about option number d just remove option number d for time being you know we want increase in quality so we want increase in quality okay in that case in that case in that case we can expect something cheap but slow or we can expect something fast but you will have to pay more the cost will increase so either you will have to compromise on the time or you will have to compromise on the cost okay hold on option number d increase in quality are, are only achieved if resource allocation is increased resource allocation is increased cost is increased cost is increased hold on are are we supposed to read the options like this because this option is right increase in quality can be achieved if resource allocation is increased resource allocation means you can pay more that is also possible right but 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 this is not the way we are going to read the question and that's why your reading skills comes uh, you know here increase in quality are only achieved only achieved only achieved only achieved only achieved only achieved this one word has changed the meaning of the option no it is saying see option number b has never put the word only here it's not saying increase in quality can be achieved only if resource allocation is decreased no they are saying you can you know you can decrease the resource allocation this is one, this is one of the way right but option number d is saying this is the only way okay option number b is saying i am right option number d is saying only i am right both both <laughs> sentences meaning changes right so option number d is saying increase in quality can only be achieved if resource allocation is increased no no increase in quality can also be achieved if resource allocation is decreased if resource allocation is decreased but then you will have to compromise on that on the time factor right so this is why option number d is not the correct answer over here the correct option is option number b see the question is very easy but the entire magic is of the reading skills the more you have this reading skills the more you are able to identify you know these hidden hints in the question you know the lesser difficulty you will be having in the exam hall and you know trust me at times if you if you are if you are not well Uh, if you if you don't have the habit of you know uh, reading the questions very carefully and you know if you don't have that i can say that right isaka mindset and right way of reading things then you will not be able to pinpoint these small small things okay so this is where the correct option over here is option number b and see the topic is very easy project management triangle the you know it's 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 not a difficult topic and you know i i hope that you know whatever things i have i have tried to explain you know it 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 made sense to everyone and uh, you know so yeah so that's it okay i hope everyone has learned about this topic and this question so stay tuned for more such videos